New at five, we are checking to see if 23 people charged with domestic terrorism could face a judge tonight after they were detained during a violent protest at a future public safety training site. Now, a new surveillance video just released today shows the protesters throwing rocks and fireworks at officers and setting construction equipment and trailers on fire, as you see there on your screen. Uh, take a look at this. Of the 23 arrested, only two are from the state of Georgia. The rest are from across the nation, two from other countries. Protests are set to continue this week over the training center, and you may notice more law enforcement around that site as a result. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley is at Atlanta City Hall, where the city council is hearing from protesters and discussing the city's next course of action here, Joe. Yeah, hey, good evening. Tensions remain high right now. If you look off all around this building throughout the day, we have seen law enforcement officers, Atlanta police posted here at City Hall as passionate protesters convey their concerns about the building of the public safety training center. It doesn't hurt us. It doesn't hurt the building owners. If they got insurance, we can buy another police car. It hurts their movement. But, you know, and, and their message gets lost in the violence. This afternoon, Atlanta City Councilman Michael Julian Bond, who serves on the Public Safety Committee, told me additional officers will monitor the future public safety training site and that DeKalb County Sheriff's Office is authorizing them to patrol and protect the land there. We as elected officials have an obligation to our employees to provide them the best places to work, the best equipment to have to work on behalf of the citizens who put us where we are. Atlanta police say a week of planned protests erupted in violent Sunday at the site. The Georgia Department of Public Safety says a group of activists used tires and other debris to set up roadblocks and threw Molotov cocktails, fireworks, rocks and bricks at those police officers. In a statement, Governor Brian Kemp says some of the activists, quote, chose destruction and vandalism over legitimate protest, yet again demonstrating the radical intent behind their actions. Domestic terrorism will not be tolerated in this state. We will not rest until those who use violence and intimidation for an extremist end are brought to full justice. We, we have to have adequate and, and, and good, solid training. The way that we went about this process may have been convoluted, but the reality is this is not a us versus them situation. Atlanta City Councilwoman Keisha Sean Waits is also on the Public Safety Committee. She says there needs to be more transparency to prevent more violence. Just last week, we learned Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens is creating a task force to discuss future progress there at the site. And I don't believe that more violence is, is, is actually the answer. I think the goal is, is to figure out how we get to the table to come to uh, a place where we can all collaborate and move this conversation forward. And right now, we understand that both Atlanta police's chief uh, as well as Atlanta's fire chief are speaking before council, giving an update on what happened over the weekend and how they plan to ensure public safety throughout this entire week of scheduled protests. Coming up at 6, uh, you are going to hear how still plans are moving forward for this public safety training center and how city council believes compromise and communication are the only ways forward at this point. Joe, we look forward to that report at 6. Thank you so much.